Welcome to this month's marketing tutorial for the Computer Consulting Kid Club. This month we're going to be helping you learn how to find organizations in your local area that have the strongest possible potential of generating super high quality, extremely pre-qualified leads that have the best potential to become your firm's next steady high paying client. So again, we're going to be talking about finding organizations that can generate super high quality leads. So what are we going to learn? And obviously, we're going to find extreme, how to find extremely highly qualified prospective clients by tapping into specific kinds of local organizations. Most computer consulting businesses are totally missing out on this huge opportunity because they never get any further. They never get past visiting just one or two Chamber of Commerce or Chamber of Commerce types of organizations. In reality, there's a tremendous, tremendous amount of resources at your disposal if you know where to look for it and how to look for it. And in the past, another types of tools and resources within the Computer Consulting Kit Club. We've talked about, for example, ways to get more bang for the buck out of your out of your involvement in relationship marketing and being involved with an organization. This month specifically we're going to talk about all the different places that you can look to find organizations because for a lot of people they're just barely scratching the surface. What are some of the minimum requirements? Before we get ahead of ourselves, it's, it's important to just uh, lay this stuff out on paper and make sure that we're on the same page. You first need to admit to yourself that marketing is crucial to your computer consulting business. If marketing isn't crucial, then there's no point in talking about this. There's no point in talking about marketing tutorials. And you, and, you know, uh, but the key first thing is that you really, really have to be willing to make a strong commitment to marketing and business development and recognize that the entire future of your computer consulting company company or your solution provider firm or evaluated reseller firm or a network integration firm, whatever you want to call it, is entirely dependent on generating steady recurring revenue with your existing clients and finding more new steady high paying clients on a consistent predictable basis. So first you have to admit that marketing is not only crucial to your business but it's worthy of your time each and every week. You can't just do it when you can't just get around to marketing. You can't just get around to business development and going out on sales calls and putting proposals out there and following up. You can't just do these things when things get slow because by then it's generally too late and you tend to, your, your judgment tends to be clouded. You tend to make a, decisions from an emotional kind of vulnerable position and that's when the mistakes that you, uh, the biggest mistakes that you, you tend to make because you're, you're going from a position of weakness as opposed to a position of strength. So you need to recognize also in addition to the crucial importance of marketing, the crucial importance of having a plan, having a plan of attack. Even if this plan is nothing more fancy than just putting specific steps or specific projects or specific events or specific uh, meetings that you need to attend on your calendar or putting together a well-organized to-do list in Microsoft Excel or using a task list in, in Microsoft Outlook or putting it in your PDA, whatever it is, you need some kind of plan and the more specific it is, the more likely it is that it's going to be implemented. It's also what helps to keep you accountable and helps to keep you on track. So you can think things through at least several weeks ahead of time so a bad day or a bad day or two doesn't throw you completely off track from the original plan. Now a plan cannot become reality if it's just floating around up there. It really, really needs to be down. If it's not on paper, it needs to be down in some kind of electronic format that's easy for you to work with and, and fit in with all your other obligations with your existing customers and clients. And For some people that's a calendar, for, for some people it's a it's a to-do list in something like Microsoft Excel or a task list in, in something like uh, Microsoft Outlook or perhaps something in your PDA. In terms of getting more bang for the buck and um, and getting involved with organizations that can generate super high quality leads. A big productivity boosting tip that not a lot of people do is spending six to eight weeks ahead of time. It's thinking things through six or eight weeks ahead of time. Why is that so important? Because when you plan a month and a half to two months out, you have much greater scheduling efficiency. For example, if you have a client that you visit a few times a month and that particular client is located near a meeting location for a particular organization, why wouldn't you want to schedule them both on the same day. It cuts down on your non-billable time, it cuts down on your travel expenses, and of course it's less wear and tear and stress on you because you're scheduling more efficiency. But in order to do that, you really have to plan ahead. If you just kind of wait until the last minute, it's very, very tough to make that kind of stuff happen. So we recommend that from a project management standpoint, from a scheduling, from an administrative standpoint, try to plan your schedule a good six to eight weeks ahead of time, at the absolute minimum, three to four weeks ahead of time. 
Same thing for your prospect sales calls and, and your subcontractor meetings. The, the key thing is recognizing that your time is your inventory. And of course, you always need to leave a little bit of slack in there because you never know where the emergency is going to be with a client in a particular day. But you know, if you're proactive enough in manual, managing your outsourced virtual IT projects, you're going to minimize the amount of emergencies that require driving time. You'll be able to handle a lot of them remotely. And you'll be able to eliminate a lot of emergencies by fixing the vulnerabilities with your steady clients that you see on a regular basis. Basis. So a key productivity boosting, uh, pr key productivity boosting tip that you can use as you get more involved in organizations is to make sure that you plan your sales calls, that you make sure that you plan yeah, the organization meetings and organization events and shows and things like that and seminars that you're going to be attending at the same time that you plan your schedule with your customers and clients. And it makes it a lot more possible for you to cluster things together geographically that are located nearby. Do you want more of the best, steady, high-paying computer business clients? Then sign up for free, proven computer business tips now at computerbusinesstips.com. Again, that's computerbusinesstips.com.